Okay. This is the video uh, after the one that I prepared the cake and my cake is here. As you can see, looking lovely. I don't have a fridge. That is my next plan. Uh, if God provides money, I'll buy a fridge so I can have enough storage for for my foods that have already been cooked and are left. So I have uh, this ugali here. I prepared it last night uh, together with some sukuma wiki and uh, some beef stew here. This beef, I never used cooking oil. I just cut tomatoes and onions into it. So it's lunchtime. I've just posted a video as a... Actually, this is a video that I'm, I've finished editing, but I've posted a video. Here it is. It's called I Made Mandazi and Uji for this video. Very special and easy recipe. If you have time, please, guys, go check it out. So let me just let this one export. It's supposed to export for you for the next one hour, 51 minutes and 24 seconds. So as it's exporting, uh, it's actually what time? Uh, my phone. What is the time? Two fifty-three p.m. on a Thursday, thirty-first of March. That is the time of recording this video. So I want just to warm my food. Eh? Yes, and just have some lunch. I was editing. That is the life I wanted. And then this one is from Boga. Soft life, don't you? Well, not soft as such. So nowadays it's easier to do things quickly. Like when cooking, I take the shortest time possible because of the several burners that you see here. Yeah. I don't know whether I should add some soup here because it's too dry. I didn't make it with soup. Let me just add a little. The bog is just ready, just like that, just like that. So for our beef, I will have to warm it for some time, maybe five minutes or so just for the water that I've added to get ready. I was seeing you're getting worried who was recording this video because you had not seen me. It's still me, Divans Ogweno of Divan's Empire. If you're new here, Karibu Sana. And if you're a returning subscriber, this is home. Feel much welcomed and loved. So today, um, I'm not having much, <laughs> but uh, I'm seeing what to do because uh, I woke up early, edited a few video. I stopped editing because I needed a microphone to do the audio part of it. You know, sometimes, when you are an editor there's some points where you have to sing in songs so in videos yes yeah. so for me to sing i need a microphone and the microphone that i'm having is having some problem so i cannot use it actually so i have to get another microphone as soon as possible and the good microphones are quite expensive they range between a hundred dollars to 150 dollars that is like uh 10,000 to 15,000 Kenyan shillings and you have a very good microphone that you can connect onto your computer and you just edit I'm warming food here still yet um, So I will see how to do God will provide let me just leave it at that For now, so I need that microphone to continue editing that particular video Yes, and then um this is the video that I've dropped. Make sure you watch it. Make sure you watch the videos, guys. This is the only way that you can show support to me. I pay my bills through this. 
and um i want to also do laundry it's been a long while it's almost two months since i last did laundry i want to wash my beddings i had already exchanged them i want to wash the beddings dirty clothes and uh voila let me just call it a day because they have so almost everything that i have in my house is dirty dirty i stay alone and uh it's my weakness. Washing is my weakness. But let's see. Let me serve my food. Eh? Hey, three big bones. Three big bones. This is beef stew, sukuma wiki, and ugali, cornmeal. Perfect. Let's eat now. Hey, yeah. That food is very hot. So as I'll be eating, uh, there's this series that I've been watching for a while now um on netflix it's called what's the name um the island i've been watching it for a while i've watched it for so 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 long many 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 <laughs> weeks so every time when i have free time like this like when i'm cooking or i'm eating that is when i usually upload i, I get time to watch such kind of movies so now let's uh let me watch it as i eat i will sit at that and that is where I sit sometimes when editing using the laptop and uh, when editing using the computer, the desktop, I usually sit on this other edge here. So if I want to watch here uh, on the desktop, I have to sit at the back, far back that side. The sound is well balanced in my house through this uh, home theater speakers that are spread all over my house. Others, on the, there's a one there. There's another one there, there's another one there, and then on the back side. So watching movie in this place is just like you're in a theater, a movie theater. It's so good and so good. So let me do this. Uh, I'll watch this for some time, maybe one episode, and then I can continue with my working. You have to be disciplined. If you say it's strictly one episode, you watch one episode 40 minutes after that, stop and do any other thing that you are doing. Like for me, it's editing, I, but I also need to wash. <laughs> yes. Let me get some water. See this thing works. Technology. Oops. Yeah. Mm. Perfect. This food is very sweet, very sweet, but salty. Mm. So guys, I cannot eat all this cake by myself and I cannot praise it on my own. So I've decided to take to a piece of it to one of my friend. Uh, she's called Fiona. I'm just going to deliver this. 
to her place right now yeah i'm i'm just placing this this last ones mm, mm, mm. this will be enough for her almost uh, this whole container this is too much or little mm. so it looks like very beautiful so i'm just going to deliver this to fiona and then i'll be back shortly good morning it's another day from uh, the previous day i'm so grateful to the lord that he has made me see this beautiful day so now uh in this video today not in this video actually today i've woken up when i want to prepare porridge the previous day i prepared cake and uh, the cake is what i've been eating for a while i divided some for a friend of mine and it was good she loved it she told me it was um, like Elisha Raka. Elisha Raka means it got finished quickly. You know, when something is sweet, people always say that statement. So I promise to make another one again and share with her again next time. So right now I'm in the kitchen. I just want to prepare porridge. I've already cleaned the gas cooker. Uh, the person who used it yesterday really messed it up. It was kind of very dirty. I want to make porridge and eat with some cake because last night i didn't have supper so i woke up feeling so hungry and the only thing that i can have right now is porridge and maybe cake something heavy something that will last in my stomach for a long time because today i'll have a lot of a lot of editing and i have to finish my editing without failure uh, yes kind of so let's prepare porridge Let me just place you there. So I will first boil water. As I boil my water, let me prepare with this new flour. Yeah, I can cover it so it can cost a lot. Just like that. Porridge is so good. It's good, especially when you find the correct unga to use. You are just good to go. I usually use formula, porridge, unga. But when this one is over, I will buy another mixture. And you shall see how beautiful it is. So this one, I'm, uh, I'm usually, I usually measure one and a half spoons. But today I've decided to measure two because one and a half sometimes makes the uji get ready so light. I want it thick. Thick porridge to hold the stomach. So as the water boils, my mixture here is ready. I will just add it and let it boil for some time. very sweet it's nice it will take me a long way one thing i've learned in this world one thing that i've learned and i want to share it with you hey hmm. what you do to others shall be done to you one day one day it shall be done to you i remember i had this habit of um stealing fare from conductors especially in matatus and the buses and the sands uh on the routes to from don home to kayole i used to have a friend in kayole who i used to visit frequently and used to visit me because we were good friends so i remember every time when i boarded these vehicles that were going towards this location i used not to pay for transport because we would enter so many people and then we would quickly look for chairs or seats and sit down and pretend 
like we were in the bus long ago or before the bus stopped at that particular stage so whenever the conductor used to come he would come like uh can i have your money and i would generously i mean um courageously say sinilisha kulipa pesa bro kwani unaniompa pesa mara ngapi and if you become bitter with these uh, conductors they always believe that you have done what you have paid so i just they move and go to the next person and that way i've not paid my fare so i had an habit of doing this for so many uh several times until one day it was my turn to pay back and when i paid back I cried in the toilet. So now let me share with you how I paid it back. A few months later, I got a job to work as an insurance salesperson. And every morning, we would go to town because that is where our officer was in the CBD area in Nairobi. So every day you had to report to town in the office before you can disperse to your various locations where you're going to source for clients who will buy insurance from your company. So that meant I had to use transport every single day. Transport was cheaper during morning hours, very, very early in the morning. I remember from five, actually from 4 a.m. in the morning to five in the morning, we used to pay 30 Kenyan shillings per person for transport. The moment it hit 6 a.m. in the morning, all the way to 10 a.m. in the morning, the transport would rise from 30 bob to 100 Kenyan shillings, which is equivalent to $1. If you stay in Nairobi, you would always understand that transport, money that you use for transport, in the 30 days that a month has or every day that you have to travel around is quite expensive than almost your rent because if for one trip you have to pay a hundred kenyan shillings and then later in the evening because of rush hour you pay again another hundred shillings per day you spend 200 kenyan shillings on transport multiply times 30 days that is a lot of money that's almost uh six 6,000 Kenyan shillings, $60. Imagine that is only for transport, if you are only disciplined. So, for people like us who used to work for insurance, why we were paid on commission? Like, you bring somebody, that is when you get paid. If you don't bring anybody, you don't get paid that month. So, you really had to work hard. And any money that you received, you had to use it wisely. So, for me, I preferred waking up very early and sacrifice my sleep so I can get to town very early in the morning and then go look for those public benches where people sit and relax free. So we sit there and then you fall asleep for some time until 8 a.m. in the morning when you're supposed to get to work. It was a lot of work for me. So I used to do that. So one day I boarded this matatu. And after boarding this matatu, I didn't have small money, lose money. So I gave this conductor 1,000 Kenyan shillings so that uh they can take 30 bob and return for me 970 kenyan shillings after i handed over my 1000 notes to them he left to collect money in the other uh from the other passengers because he didn't have what loose change so he told me to keep waiting so when he collected up to the back when he came back i reminded him bro you have my change and he told me yes i'm aware i have your change Watch a garage stop somewhere. When the vehicle stops somewhere, I will do what? I will go look, ask, borrow, change, and come and give you. See, that is what he told me. And because it was too early, 4 a.m., I fell asleep in this car, only to be woken up by people uh, moving out of the bus because the bus had arrived in town. So I tried to look for the conductor. I can't see the conductor. I try looking everywhere. I'm not seeing him. I go to the driver. I tell the driver, Dere. I gave the conductor 1,000 shillings to take 30 bob. He was supposed to give me 970 and is nowhere to be seen. The driver tries calling his phone number. He doesn't pick. Like the conductor just made a profit with my money and he left. Like he went away. So I don't know whether it was a setup or what. One thing I knew in my mind, I knew I was paying back for the sins that I was doing. Long time ago, 
when I was going to Kayole by the Ford Travelers. So this world has a special way of paying everyone for everything that they do. If you are good, the world will pay you good. If you do bad, that is what you will do what? You will be paid. So I paid and it was painful and that was a lot of money. 1,000 just went on one day. I still have other days to go to work here. What was I supposed to do? Fair is involved to, for me to get to the clients' offices, for me to report to work. It was a lot, but I learned my lesson. And since then, up to date, I treat people how I want them to treat me. If I'm more comfortable paying, I will just tell the conductor that, bro, me, I don't have the 20 bob you want me to pay. I can afford to pay 10 bob. And if they are uh, they, they yes with me, I will give them the 10 bob. If they refuse, I look for another car. Or I just pay it and it's lost. What you do to others shall be done to you. You, 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 you. So do right so that you can be done for right. If you do bad, thinking that they will not know, hmm, you, 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 you keep going to witch doctors to bewitch your friends. The same way is somebody else is also going to witch doctors to bewitch you. So well, as you bewitch somebody else, somebody else bewitches you. So when the, you make somebody else suffer, somebody else is also in a mission of making you suffer. And that is why you will not know peace at all. Whether you do what, you go to witch doctors to bewitch your friends. But at the end of the day, it's you who pains, you who cries. Because the world is paying back what you are doing to others, it's also doing it to you. Learn. My friend, learn. Me, I never get tired of learning, but you also learn these things. Do to others how you want them to do to you. Even the holy book, the Bible, says it also. Do to others how you want them to do to you. And until next time, always work hard and be nice to people. Remember, nothing is impossible. This is Divan's Empire. And of discussion.